Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope uh, everybody's week uh, went well and um, you're enjoying your weekend. I hear there's some special sporting events supposed to be going on today. Uh, you know, the Super Sunday, Super Bowl. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I don't watch a whole lot of football, but I do like watching. When I do watch it, I want to see a good game, so hopefully it's a good game today. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to turn it on, but I'm sure my Facebook feed will be uh, inundated with, um, you know, uh, much commentary on how the game goes. Anyways, today, uh, as the title suggests, I'm going to talk about uh, my only aquarium. I recently downsized. I uh, had three aquariums up until about mid-January. I had a reef tank, a 36-gallon reef tank, and I had a 36-gallon uh, bowfront freshwater aquarium. I went ahead and broke both of those down. Um, I just wanted to concentrate more on the, the reptiles and, and my tortoises and stuff like that. The, uh, the reef aquarium was very labor intensive and I had to do a lot with it uh, quite frequently. So I broke those down and the only aquarium I have left is my 65 gallon um, aquarium that uh, it's a fish only with live rock, F-O-W-L-R is what they call it in the hobby. And there's really not a whole lot of live rock in it. There is a uh, aqua roche porcelain rock structure, um, but uh, I, it's housed with um, just an undulated trigger fish and a domino damsel. Um, the trigger fish, his name is Shamrock. I've had him since the fall of 2008, so he will be nine, nine years old this year. Um, which is awesome. I'll post a picture of when I got him when he was just a baby, the you know, size of a quarter, if not just maybe slightly bigger. Um, undulated triggerfish, Ballastopus undulatus. They're Indo-Pacific uh, species of fish. Warm water, obviously, coral reefs, lagoons, things like that. Um, most, uh, most literature says they get about just shy of 12 inches. Um, he is just shy of six inches now, going on nine years old, uh, which is good because he's only in the 65 gallon tank. A 12 inch trigger fish would need a much bigger aquarium, so I'm glad he's a slow grower. Uh, I've had him so long, I won't get rid of him. That means I just have to go out and buy a bigger aquarium if he, uh, if he starts outgrowing this one. Um, very aggressive species of uh, fish, especially in an aquarium setting. Uh, they're known to kill everything in the tank with them. The uh, Domino Damsel, and that's Dasculus trimaculatus, is also an Indo-Pacific species of fish. They probably cohabitate in the wild in a, in a reef setting, but of course the ocean's huge, so they got an opportunity to get away from one another. Uh, they can be very aggressive, so that's why I think they make uh, good tank mates. Uh, you'll see in a clip where uh, Shamrock gets a little uh, feisty with uh, the Domino Damsel and uh, chases them away, so uh, there is some aggression from time to time and some uh, fin nipping, tail nipping, but, but fins are like hair. It grows back, so uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, there used to be two other damsels in there and over the years, I'm not sure if the domino killed them or if shamrock killed them or if they died for some other reason, they, uh, they just disappeared. And I'm holding this, uh, my, my new camera with the little selfie grip and uh, I gotta get used to that. <laughs> So anyways, um, Mike Corbett, one of my subscribers, uh, noticed the aquarium when I did the uh, extreme uh, makeover for the Night and Olds a couple weekends ago, and he asked for me to highlight uh, the aquarium. So uh, that's what I'm doing, and hopefully you can see Shamrock swimming behind me, but um, I have a couple clips that I pieced together to do this, uh, talk about the filtration underneath the uh, stand, and, uh, and a feeding clip. I threw a crayfish in there with uh, Shamrock, and uh, he destroyed it. Um, I'm also going to post some links in the description to a couple Reef Central threads from many, many years ago. I used to be a, a, a prolific user of ReefCentral.com. That's uh, for all kinds of saltwater aquarium, reef aquarium, just a forum. It's a real good site if you're into marine aquariums, a lot of information. Um, so I'm going to post a couple links when I, when I set this aquarium up and you see some pictures, see some earlier videos, and some of my earliest YouTube videos are of this aquarium and the damsels. So uh, I welcome you to go visit them. Uh, it seems this might be a habit for me because last Super Bowl Sunday, last year, I did a, a water change on the reef tank I had at the time and I sped it up so it was like a 20 minute thing of maintenance and I condensed it down to about two minutes. That's pretty neat if you want to go down and check that out. But uh, anyways, 
Um, I, I provide some information in the other clips and I show you some feeding, but this is my uh, only aquarium that I have right now and it's uh, Shamrock, the undulated trigger fish, and uh, his buddy, the uh, Domino Damsel. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, remember, comment, like, share, subscribe, and until next time, take care. So this is the filtration for the aquarium. It is a marine lane tide pool to sump system. I uh, just got done doing a water change and that noise you hear is the uh, auto top off from this jug of distilled water. Hopefully see some water coming topping off the aquarium. And there's the flight switch right there. That's it. Aqua lifter that's sucking water out of the distilled water jug and putting it into the sump. Um, that is my slightly underpowered protein skimmer. Um, I will uh, post a photo of and the correct name of it. I think it's a BH50, but it's a, it's a reef octopus. Uh, it's obviously it's designed for slightly smaller aquariums, up to 50 gallons. But it works well, and I'll post a picture of some skin mate that I uh, take out of this aquarium. Um, I do have a bio pellet reactor. Um, I honestly don't know what if it makes much of a difference, but you know they say they're supposed to be nitrate killers. So I went ahead and uh, put that on this aquarium, and I will uh, post a picture of what I have in the three trays. The top is coarse filter media. Uh, medium filter media in the middle and then in the bottom is two cups of carbon and a bag of purigen. So that is what the filtration looks like. Um, obviously over here I this is normally where I have the tortoises so I have it blocked off. This door very rarely opens. I uh, move the, the blockade out of the way when I need to do my maintenance on the aquarium. But um, yep, that's the filtration for the 65 gallon undulated trigger. Aquarium.